Hundreds of job cuts are coming to Cook County. Board President Tony Preckwinkle is laying out her plan to make up for the repealed sweetened beverage tax. CBS 2 Susanna Song joins us now with a look at those cuts. Good morning, Susanna. Good morning, Marcin. They are in $200 million in cuts. That is how much Cook County has to cut in order to balance the budget. Without revenue from the soda tax, some of the savings will likely come from layoffs at the Sheriff's Department and the courts. This is what President Tony Preckwinkle is proposing. 244 layoffs at the Sheriff's Department, 222 at the courts, and that is expected to save the county $51 million. Both Sheriff Tom Dart and Chief Judge Timothy Evans have not signed off on this. In fact, Chief Judge Evans told the Tribune he would rather enforce 20 unpaid furlough days. Another $50 million in cuts will come from eliminating 1,000 vacant positions, but the biggest savings, $96 million, will come from delaying the purchases of equipment, cutting programs, and freezing salaries. In a statement, Sheriff Dart said, we have put forth close to $60 million in recommended cuts and are continuing to collaborate with the president's office and county commissioners to arrive at a balanced budget that does not impact public safety nor the safety of the men and women of this office. The Cook County Board must vote on an amended budget by November 21st. Commissioners will likely file their own proposals while Judge Evans has suggested furloughs for court employees, that is not something that can just be imposed without reaching an agreement with the unions.